Dave, a frustrating afternoon for the lads. Uh, what's your take on it? Yeah, we're uh, we're extremely disappointed. You know, you don't want to lose any game. You certainly don't want to lose a derby. You know, we uh, disappointed at, uh, at our start to the game. Um, felt that you know, felt two of their three goals were good goals. If you if you're a football fan, um, I think the big change in, in the game for us was after half time. We'd started well. We'd get back into the game and. A two-one, you, you want to stay there for five or ten minutes, and because it was a, a good period for us, and and we didn't, you know. But uh, I felt first half we were we lacked tempo, for for want of a better description, and um, and, and we paid a penalty for it. You, you mentioned it there. What, what was said at half time? Because uh, we, we came out firing, and we uh, Ben Rich Everton obviously got his goal, um, and, and we looked like a, a real threat going forwards. I felt. Yeah, we just we had to change the system a little bit um, because of an injury, and, and it, you know it, that worked for us. Um, you, we wanted the tempo to be better. We wanted to play forward, run forward, and we did that better in that period and got a goal. And you know, goals change games, change moods, and and we needed that to to to, to stay the same. I think they they must have scored the third goal. I'm going to say five minutes later, off the top of my head. I don't know. I don't know the times. I do know that it's a great goal, their third one. You know, if, if you're a football fan, um, and it was just, it's just what we didn't need, and we didn't really recover from that as much as we huffed and puffed. What was it frustrating, like you said, that the, the timing of the uh, timing of their third goal, given that uh, we, we looked to be in, in control and maybe even pushing for that equaliser? Yeah, it was it was it was one of our better periods in the game. In control is a big statement, but you know we're certainly it was one of our better periods in, in the game, and to, and to score the goal is exactly what you want. Um, but then it's about making sure you don't concede. I would say that the third goal, I thought, out of the blue, the guys turned and put it in the top corner. And sometimes, well, that's what football's about. And it just happened at the wrong time for us. Adam out was, was obviously back into the team today after, after missing out at, at Notts County. And he, he, did look, he did look sharp, I felt. But, I mean, it, unfortunately for, for him, it did, didn't quite fall right. And, and he didn't uh, add to his goal tally. What was your, no, what was your uh, yeah, make of his it, performance? To be fair to Maz, he, he had a great chance first half. I think he just lost his footing. And you'd back him to take a, a touch. And, uh, and he maybe two or three other chances. But he's, in, he's always in the right place. You know, we, you know we've tried hard to, to add the forwards this week. And um, the forward line, and we're still trying to do that. Um, but in big games, there's big moments. They took theirs, and we didn't take ours. And, and you, listen, I'd say the best team won. I'm not stupid. So Sam was came, came off injured at the uh, the end of the first half. Do you know what that was down to? He had a tight hamstring um, going in the, after the warm up. He, he felt happy to start the game. We were happy for him to do that, but it just got tighter as the half went on. And you know, you, you, we sort of. He's, he's a big presence for us, you know. Obviously, our captain's still not about, and um, there's also Sam Beard. You know, they're big players for us, you know. Um, uh, but then you can sound like you're making excuses for a performance that really, in the whole, wasn't up to what we want. A, a positive from today being uh, Ryan De Haven and obviously get, getting back out on, on the pitch for for, uh, for Barnett, and he did show some creativity and, and a bit of energy when he came on. I felt he did, and he and his. You know, he, he did what he was told to do. You know, Dean's gave him instruction, and he carried it out well. So, but you know, you have to pick positives out of something. You, you know, we're desperately, desperately disappointed. I understand what this means. I said to you in the interview yesterday. It's a little derby, and it, you know, we're disappointed that, that, of the outcome and, and, and parts of the performance. There's nothing more we can do at the moment other than dust ourselves down and get get ourselves ready for next week. And as I say, hopefully add some players to the squad, which we're trying to get done. We all understand where the fans are. You know, we understand that fans want their team to run hard and win games, work hard for the badge. It's, it's the oldest saying in, in, in football. So, I, I don't think we've any complaints that the fans aren't happy. We we really don't. You know, it, it's, you know, I, I get that. You know, I get that Dean sort of mentioned it on Tuesday night, but but when we sit back and analyse it, we we understand that that they care about it. And the only way they get defended is is by telling you. You know, and that's we get to vent our anger in the dressing room to players. Players get to vent what they've got on the pitch, and that's the sequence. And that doesn't change. That doesn't change. So look, we're not stupid, and we're not. I'm not. I'm not trying to be blasé about this. You know, we we absolutely understand what what they're saying about the performance. What I would say is, we're we're trying to fix it. We're trying to add people to the squad. 
um, and we're very aware that uh, we're, we're laid on numbers and we're very aware of what we require. So, so that, uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, watch this space. It's a quick turnaround for our cup game at uh, Northwood on, on Tuesday night and it's important our, our attention is fully focused on it um, straight after today. Yes, yes, you know, as I said, games come around thick and fast. It's a yeah, county cup to county cup. People go, well, that, that won't sort of get you into the Hall of Fame and if you're in it, you may as well try and win it. Northwood, you know, is a local club to me and Mannings it actually um, and are in a good run. And we found when we went to Ashford, we, I thought we were fortunate to beat Ashford, if I'm honest. So we'll need to get back going, dust ourselves down. But that's, that's football. I think, I think everybody in football and who supports football understand that vent your anger today, move on tomorrow.